Good morning. Welcome to uh, this public meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. We are meeting today to consider the draft rule, uh, draft final rule to establish safety standards for nursing pillows. So before we begin, we're going to try this once more and make sure that all the commissioners who are all now remote can hear and see us. So, Commissioner Trumka, can you hear and see? And can we hear you? Yes, I can. Good morning. Great. Uh, Commissioner Feldman, can you hear and see us? Yes, Mr. Chairman, thank you. Great. Commissioner Boyle, can you hear and see us? Yes. Excellent. Commissioner Ziak, can you hear and see us? I can hear and see. Excellent. So we have all of us. Um, we're going to start with questions for staff, and there are several staff members present to answer questions. If there are any, we're joined by Tim Smith. The project manager directorate for engineering sciences and Tabby Zab, attorney regulatory affairs division office of the general counsel. Each commissioner will have five minutes for questions, and after questions are complete, we're going to consider any amendments uh, to the the um, rule. As a reminder, if your questions that address statutory interpretation or other legal advice, please don't ask them at this point in time. So moving on to questions, I have no questions for staff. Commissioner Feldman, did you have questions for staff? Mr. Chairman, I wanted to thank staff for their hard work on this final rule, but I have no questions at this time. Okay. Commissioner Trumka, do you have questions? I do, thank you. Uh, and I think these are for, for Mr. Smith. I, I asked a few questions at the briefing that we had on this issue uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I just wanted to clarify on the firmness testing locations. So the, the package makes clear that if the, for the inner wall testing, if the thickness of the product is maybe, um, you know, 2.9 inches, say, and the probe is 3 inches, you're in a position where the entire probe can't fit without hanging over. I want to clarify that the instruction to testers is center the probe on as much of the pillow as possible, but still test. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, and then the other test, when we're talking about the uh, infant support surface, in a scenario when the infant support surface is flat, and it's so it would be parallel to the test base, you're going to be testing perpendicular downward. But if that is not a flat surface, if it's curved, that test may not be run perpendicular to the test base. It's perpendicular to where it intersects the test surface. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. All right, that answers all of my questions. Thank you so much for your work on this package. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Boyle, did you have questions? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to associate myself with my colleagues, thanking staff for their hard work, but I don't have. Commissioner Ziak, do you have questions? Uh, thank you. I do not. So, hearing no further questions, staff is excused, and we're going to move to consideration of the package itself. I'm going to entertain any amendments or motions uh, that the commissioners may propose, and I'm going to start with myself. Uh, I have 1 amendment and will recognize myself for 3 minutes to introduce it. This is a manager's amendment uh, that contains updated language throughout to reflect in the weeks since CPSC put the final draft rule before us that ASTM has published a voluntary standard for nursing pillows. While the st standard shares many similarities to the rule proposed in the NPR, uh, the NPR we are considering today, uh, the voluntary standard is less stringent. This amendment eva evaluates that standard per the requirements of our statute. Uh, is there a second? Second. Second. Uh, thank you. Hearing second. Uh, we're now going to move consideration of the substitute amendment and, if necessary, consider any amendments to the substitute amendment. Uh, Commissioner Feldman, do you have any questions, comments, or uh, or amendments on the substitute? Uh, I don't have any questions, Mr. Chairman. I, I think with these changes, I believe the uh, final rule more accurately reflects the current state of play uh, and speaks more clearly about the authority under which we're promulgating the final rule. I, I support the changes in the in the manager's amendment. And I appreciate all the the work to put it together. Thank you, Commissioner Trumka. Do you have questions, comments, or amendments? Uh, no, I I agree with uh, Commissioner Feldman's summation there. Uh, I also support the amendment. Thank you. Commissioner Boyle, do you have any questions, comments, amendments? I do not. Uh, I will be supporting the amendment. Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Ziak, do you have any questions, comments, or amendments? I do not, but thank you uh, to everyone for the work on the amendment and getting us to this point. Uh, 
I don't have any additional comments. So, um, at this point in time, uh, we're going to consider the substitute uh, and move to a vote on the substitute amendment. Uh, Commissioner Feldman, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Trumkett, how do you vote? Yes. Commissioner Boyle? Yes. Commissioner Ziak? Yes. I vote yes as well. So the yeses are five, the votes, the noes are zero. The substitute amendment has been approved. Um, now I'm going to move to approve the final safety standard uh, for nursing pillows uh, as uh, amended by the substitute and to direct publication of the same in the federal register. Is there a second? Okay. Hearing a uh, second, uh, we're going to move to the vote. Mr. Feldman, how do you vote? I vote yes. Commissioner Trumka? Yes. Commissioner Boyle? Yes. Commissioner Ziak? Yes. And I vote yes as well. In this case, again, the yeses are five, the noes are zero. The final rule establishing a safety standard for nursing pillows as, as amended has been approved and shall be published in the Federal Register. So at this point in time, we're, we're now going to move to closing statements. Each commissioner is going to have uh, up to 10 minutes, and I'm going to recognize myself for, for the first. Uh, as my colleagues have said, I want to start by thanking the staff for all their hard work in putting together this important rule. It's a strong safety standard that's going to save lives. Uh, I find it fitting that we're finalizing this rule during Baby Safety Month, a time when we focus attention on providing a safe start for all babies. Today's rule is an important step forward in that ongoing effort. Our work in this space is guided by a simple principle. Products made for infants should be as safe as possible for the infants. We recognize that nursing pillows can be useful for caregivers when they breastfeed or bottle feed infants, but our data also tells us that these same uh, pillows may be hazardous to babies if they're used as loungers or they're placed in cribs or on beds or if babies fall asleep in them. Today's rule will ensure that nursing pillows remain uh, useful for feeding while reducing the known safety risks. I appreciate there's been a lot of hesitation and concern when we started this rule, and I hope parents and caregivers who wrote us now see that the rule is and always was about making nursing pillows safer and protecting babies. I want to acknowledge significant work that was done by the SDM committee on feeding support this year, and I want to recognize the tremendous work that was done by CPS and staff who worked uh, on both processes, the voluntary standards and the rulemaking simultaneously. Our staff's diligence and commitment are evident in the strength of the rule that we moved on today. CPSC's rule establishes a strong safety net. I'm proud to finalize the standard. But as we move forward, I encourage stakeholders to build upon the standard in the uh, ASTM's voluntary standard process and to continue to look for ways to improve the safety of nursing pillows. We can always revisit incorporating an updated safety standard in the future. Thank you. With that, I'm going to turn to uh, Commissioner Feldman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and first, I, I, I want to thank staff for their hard work on this final rule. Uh, uh, a, a lot of work did go into this, and I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased that we are where we are today. Uh, when the rule first came up for a commission consideration, it was initially proposed as a ban for these products. And since that time, we've heard from key stakeholders, including uh, nursing mothers and the American Academy of Pediatrics, all of whom recognized the utility of this product category. Uh, to promote breastfeeding uh, and, and also that this product category could be made safer through performance requirements and uh, warnings. Uh, that's, that's exactly what we're promulgating today. It's a common sense, strong, mandatory federal safety standard. I want to thank uh, my colleagues for their thoughtful amendments uh, and to our chairman and his staff in particular for running a collegial process that I think worked very well here. I think we can all be proud of the work that we've done uh, today. So thank you, and I yield the balance of my time. Thank you, Commissioner Trumka. Thank you. Um, look, this commission has shown an unwavering commitment to saving babies' lives, and today's nursing pillow safety rule uh, is further proof of that. You know, in passing today's rule, we will save a dozen babies' lives per year, babies who would have otherwise died in their sleep in unsafe products. The march is long, but our pace is proving steady. In the near term, we'll consider more solutions to infant sleep deaths and other products like infant support cushions and rockers. I look forward to a day 
when baby products will be safe for babies. I look forward to a day when caregivers won't have to research whether a baby product is safe for their babies. They won't have to research how many babies have died in it and hope that they can find out that information accurately. It's our job to make that a reality, and today we've proven that we're well on our way. Thanks, staff, for all their hard work on this. Thank you all. Commissioner Boyle. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Adoption of a final rule on nursing pillows is good news for infants and for caregivers who use and rely on these products multiple times a day. Although nursing pillows are primarily intended to support infants during breast or bottle feeding, they have been used for sleep or lounging, uses that have led to infant deaths and injuries. On October 7, 2020, CPSC warned consumers that nursing pillows are not safe for sleep. That was a critical message for consumers then, and it remains critical today. Nothing in the rule changes that message. What has changed are the legal requirements these products must now meet, including pillow dimensions, firmness standards, and conspicuous warning labels, making clear that babies have died using nursing pillows for sleep or lounging. Together, the requirements will make these undoubtedly useful products less conducive to infant sleep or lounging, and therefore reduce the risk of tragic infant fatalities associated with these products. Four years have elapsed since the Commission issued its warning in 2020. In my view, sharing important information must go hand in hand with the type of concrete action we are taking today. Our mission at CPSE encompasses much more than merely informing consumers about hazardous products or potential risks. Our mandate is to protect consumers, not to set the expectation that consumers can sh shoulder the burden alone. This rule recognizes the utility of nursing pillows, while also underscoring that when it comes to our most vulnerable consumers, safety must remain paramount. Striking the right balance between those competing concerns can be difficult, but I believe we achieved that balance. I am especially grateful to CPSC staff for their diligent work over many years to bring this rule to fruition. Their dedication, perseverance, and professionalism made today's commission action possible. Thank you. Commissioner Ziak. Thank you, Mr. Chair. First, I'd like to thank our staff for all the hard work they put into this final rule and the process leading up to it, which now creates a consumer product safety standard for nursing pillows. I also want to recognize and thank the ASTM stakeholders and advocates for their perseverance and their recent success in developing a voluntary standard. Finally, I wish to thank my colleagues for all of their work on this rule and the collegiality leading up to it. Getting to this day took significant work from all stakeholders. Incorporating such work takes time, but I'm pleased that we have arrived to this point today with the approval of this final rule. I think I can say that I and all of my colleagues believe ensuring infant health and safety is one of the most important issues the commission addresses as we carry out our mission. Therefore, I'm pleased to support this final rule today and thank everyone for their time and work again. Well, thanks to my colleagues. Thanks to again to all the staff who worked on this package. With that, uh, that concludes today's decisional meeting of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Thanks. Sam.